my king. Very good. Oh, I went there to go by ship. I suspect we're going to do everything in our power to prevent that. Oh, speaking of ships, try and find stuff. The Idiots. Victory. Da. And uh, with that, we end the turn yet again. Yes, we do. Don't sink, Eric Sturgård. I will be very grumpy. And we got Tostado Canavan. Because they rioted, I think. Yes. Yeah. Engage us. Be my guest. Withdraw. We cannot withdraw. Well... I'm not going to take this seriously, so we're going to automatically resolve. Well, lo lo Longbowmen, normally I would always accept Ransom, but I do not care about the Welsh troops. So I guess, technically speaking, that was Norway's first defeat in the land battle, so we are no longer undefeated. But I still don't consider that a real... like a real defeat, to be honest. No, you suck. Going down. Why did our profits go d Oh, because we lost Canavan? And we weren't able to collect taxes? Oh, well, we can live with that. What? Haldrewikis gets a lot of uh, followers here. Like, Stable Master and Master Archer. One plus command when I command in cavalry. Wow, I guess this is from all the recruiting. Well done. A lot of construction going on. Yeah. But oh well, the Welsh have taken back Navan. They are happy to take it back, and uh, I wish them good luck in rebuilding it. Off this vessel at once. Damn it! Will make Still not close enough. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. If we can be sneaky. Heading to shore. Yes. Yes. Moving to engage. So you can. No, but. Yes, Lord. Oh, fuck it. The enemy. That failed. <laughs> the siege, my Lord. But, oh well. Uh, assassins, can you do something fun? Hello. That's all I, my king. 23% chance of my success. King, name the target. Who is my target? Who or what offends you, my king? Like I said, a target lot of people offend me. Oh, all I need. Welsh diplomat. Who or what offends Just you, the kind king? we are target, after. So he's gonna I die. Who or what offends you, my king? And just for the I heck need. of it, we're gonna give this guy a shot. The target, please. That's all I need. Four. Three. Who is my target? Whose time is up? Oh, he's a Welsh diplomat as well. Then before that, we're gonna try to Who assassinate this guy. I think we've seen this before. No, we haven't. Oh, come on. 94% chance and you fail, you douchebag. Stupid woman. Well, we're gonna get him next turn. Who or what offends you? Who Let's is hope my you target? are. I have more luck here. Even though the chances are lower. And we have already seen this video, so I'm gonna skip it. And he dies! Amazing. No trades gained though, but still. Another nobleman of uh, <laughs> Wales lies dead. Uh, this is perfect. I would be slightly concerned for the well-being of our nobleman if I were you. Yes. See how our army is looking. I need to get them yes. all together. Dublin. Oh, all these are going to go out, key. of course, with that one. Not quite yet. We have two units there. Okay, not good enough. Uh, we have so few chivalric knights. That bothers me. Still can't train anything in Sterling, I suppose. No more handgunners available either. And no more units available. Well, okay, we can train some Gotland footmen as well.
and one user has cards. And also, why not retrain the bodyguard here? Uh, now I'm going to tend to some building again, and uh, see ya. Done with the building, and we are building in every settlement again. I have checked, <laughs> just to make sure. Uh, now, time to move our fleet about. Um, but English ships there could quickly pick up the general, although he seems to have uh, gotten better ideas and pulled back. English here try to provoke us by posi positioning themselves outside of our fort. They gained r no reaction whatsoever. Oh, we went in. That, that wasn't supposed to happen. But yeah, they gained no reaction whatsoever and therefore they have um, pulled back, it seems. So engage and sink that fleet, hopefully not completely sink it. I think they escaped. Oh, there they are. Probably, maybe, possibly. We'll try. Wait, wait. Just attack them. And attack them. Just attack them all. My lord, the day is ours. Three to command at sea. Good. Can you not tell friends? A lot of English ships. Prepare to board and engage. Uh, we're gonna try to engage these guys. I don't feel confident we could take those, like both of them at once. Or actually, maybe we could. Arrogance. This is arrogance. And we defeated, even though the favors were in our uh, our way. But it seems that they had the numbers, and that was what made a difference, apparently. So, I guess. That makes the difference. Uh, we are kind of short of ships here, so we should train some more. Where to? My lord. Kind of straining off a little bit. These two My lord. should da. break away from the fleet. No then go today. and uh, rebuild a bit. Let's see what we got here. Three units of cavalry, that is good. Uh, prefer to have four. Uh, uh, Recruitment going well so far. One more unit of archers. Shame we cannot get any hangers, but whatever. Where to? Tra transport ship. For transportation. I guess uh, this is good for now, and we are still 400 in plus, so time to end the turn. And I hope uh, the Welsh won't be able to engage us before we take Cardiff. We shall see. And there you go. They were in able to get there, but they did the fatal mistake of not engaging us. So I think that when we engage uh, the town, it's gonna... Uh, we're gonna engage them as well. The thing is, we are night fighters, and we don't need that. Good night of us, new family member. Oh, interesting. Son of uh, Geliros. Oh, oh, he was born. Yeah, I thought he came of age. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, but what was that? Suitable husband for Toka Telling. Nurbi, not a very good general. You can do better. Uh, his daughter, I guess. Yeah. But he have a lot of sons now. I'm sure I, I want him to. You know, I don't. I'm not sure I want that particular clan to keep expanding. Cause they haven't really done that much. Aberdeen gonna upgrade. Though they are, in fact, uh, very good uh, at management, and they are managing the northern regions. Again, I think this guy is a telling. Grim Telling, the head, and uh, Jesper Gudrunson, uh, Magnus Telling, Inge Telling, and this guy is adopted, so all this region essentially controlled by that man. Interesting enough. Oh! 100% are we equal with England? I must say this. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> we are equal with England. Next turn we will be best in the military. We will have surpassed England in every possible way. We will have surpassed everyone in every possible way. We're going to celebrate that victory by taking Cardiff. You should fear us coming, my enemy! Once we breach the walls, they are oh, finished! Is the king defending Cardiff? Really? I had no idea we were attacking the king. The perfect politician. Oh well. That is very good. Uh, supported by Captain Hibble here. Ratio 1 to 1. <coughs> oh, sorry, I mean 20 to 3. Oh yeah, that's right. Of course. Uh, I have no interest of having them assist them in this siege. We want this to be as quick and simple as possible. Not only do we get to sack another Welsh city, we also get to kill a king. What a day for Eric Sturgård here. And here we are, back again after the battle is over. We won it, as you can see, uh, we lost only three men. <laughs> That's right, only three men. They lost 87, and of course also King Kadkwan or something. Very, very simple. Just uh, march through here. Really, there hasn't really been a melee clash between them. Just our archers shooting at them a bit here. Some catapults getting a few men there. Mainly the, uh, where are they? These guys, I think. Yeah, the Irish squires. Used up all their ammo running back and forth here, running to, and, uh, to them and throwing their javelins at them and pulling back once they uh, try to engage them. And of course they are faster. And if they got too close, they will be shot by archers and etc. etc. Got ready here to really encircle them. We had cavalry moving in there. We had cavalry and the general himself here ready to move headfirst on the charge because of his spears essentially. And also some spearmen ready position here. And also cavalry. Uh, and then we decided, you know, uh, we'll bring up some archers and try to just shoot them a bit first. I thought they would uh, actually attack us, but instead they just stood there and took it. And as a result, they all died before we even got there. And uh, the king, or Wales, got killed by an arrow. And I hope that this will serve as a warning to the Welsh people as well as the leaders of our enemies. And this is what happens when you mess with us. And from sacking this place, we will gain 7,393. Which is pretty good, actually, for sacking something. It is pretty good. But the thing is, you see, I sent uh, Eric Sturgeon here for a reason. Uh, because what I am about to do, Haldrovikus does not have the stomach to do. It's not something I often do, but in this case I will make an exception for our dear friends here, the Welsh. Exterminate population. Resistance is futile. They have no misunderstanding about who the master is now. Once your troops were ordered to butcher the local inhabitants, those that survived swiftly realized they are ultimately expendable. Yes. And with that, Cardiff burns. And the Eric Sturgård here. The dreadful. And not only shall it burn, the taxes shall go up very high, which they have no protest about, of course. Population... Going down, and also, we are gonna destroy every single building in this place. And with that, we can conclude our business in Wales for now. <laughs> Wait, that was wrong. I wanted to send you guys there. 